Hey, hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about logging in and logging out. All right, so when you first open up a terminal, you're going to see this thing here. It's called your prompt. Um, this prompt here is waiting for you to type in something. Um, so the prompt, as you can see it, it may or it's going to be different on your computer. This is how it looks at, looks on mine. And this here is configurable. It can be changed to something else. So this Kakra can be changed to something else. Even the colon and the squiggly. <laughs> uh, we call this squiggly. Um, <laughs> and the K and the dollar sign all can be changed. It's very configurable. Now, the other thing you see is your last login. This is the last uh, login in, into the terminal. Um, if I type in who am I, this is a command, who am I, no spaces and I hit enter. It tells me the user that I'm logged in as. So it's telling me that I'm logged in as K. Um, now, when you're going to log into a remote server, um, you're going to be required to provide your username and your password. But on my computer, I've already logged into my computer um, and it knows that I'm logged in as K. Um, you can, so anytime that you basically open up a new terminal, it's considered as one session. So this here is considered as one session. You could create uh, multiple sessions or run multiple sessions by going to term uh, shell and then hitting a new window uh, but you can also use a keyboard shortcut command n to create a new window so I can do a command n um, and I can create multiple ones I'm going to create two more so I have four sessions running right now I can go into each one of them and type in who am I but I can also type in another command who and it tells me all the current sessions running so the TTYS are the uh, sessions that are running, the windows that have opened the four of them, and then console is the overall uh, GUI uh, th that I have running. Now it's useful to have multiple windows running because you can have multiple processes. You can have them doing different things. Um, so that, that's one use. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this. So in order to log out from these terminals, uh, there are a few ways to do that as well, and that's considered logging out. Um, first, you could type in exit, so I can click on any one of these and type in the command exit, and notice that it, it, it completely exits. I, it doesn't take in any commands or any prompt when I type in something. Um, another way you could close these or log out is by just closing closing them this way, or you can also go to terminal and then hit quit. And so that's just uh, logging in and logging out logging out on the computer on the operating system itself but like I said on a remote server you'd have to provide your username uh, and password all right if you have any questions please post down below and I'll do everything to respond to them thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next video all right then bye bye